What's going on YouTube? I'm Alex and this is Ask the Cheese Gaming and I'm back with a new video game review for you. This time I'm talking about Yoshi's Story for the Nintendo 64. This game was also later remixed and re-released on the Wii U and can also be found on the Nintendo Switch's Virtual Console. Yoshi's Story was developed and published by Nintendo and it was released in Japan on December 21st, 1997. But it was delayed to North America until March 10th, 1998. Yoshi's Story was promised by the developers at Nintendo before it was released to be a sequel to Yoshi's Island, or also known as Super Mario World 2 for the Super NES. It is a sequel, and I use air quotes there, but in spirit only. Whereas Yoshi's Island is a 2D action platformer, and an absolutely awesome game at that. Yoshi's Story is a 3D puzzle platformer. The story for this game goes, the Yoshis were living happily, eating fruit on Yoshi's Island underneath the happy tree, until baby Bowser discovered them and be became jealous and decided to steal the happy tree run away with it and cursed the Yoshis to live in a storybook. It's your job to eat enemies and fruit, jump, butt stop, and throw eggs through six different storybook worlds. The idea is to eat enough fruit to fill the perimeter of the screen so that you can progress to the next level. When you start the game, get to randomly pick which fruit is lucky. Also, each Yoshi is a different fruit that is his favorite. The more lucky fruit that you eat, or the more you eat the Yoshi's favorite fruit, the more points you get at the end of the level, and at the end it'll tally up your points. When you start off the game, you get to choose from one, different, one of six different colored Yoshis. They are green, yellow, red, pink, blue, and light blue, or sky blue. All of the Yoshis, despite the different colors, all play exactly the same. There's no real differences be behind what they're able to do. The sound effects and music for this game mirror that same storybook element and art style that this game has. As you can see in this game footage here, the entirety of this game is all based around the storybook feel. So that's the art style, that's the visual aspect of it. Some people may love this, some people may not enjoy it so much. Another thing about this game is it's also a very, very short puzzle platformer. It should only take you a little over an hour to play through the entire game. There's only six worlds that you have to clear through. If you're looking for a very, very easy puzzle platformer game that you can just kind of turn your brain off and plow through without much trouble, then this game's for you. But personally, I'd recommend avoiding this game because you can find much, much better action or puzzle platformers elsewhere. I think that Yoshi's Island to the Super NES is a far and away much, much better game than this game. And what this game was supposed to be the sequel really only is the sequel in spirit only. And I'm using air quotes whenever I say sequel. The style, action, and challenge of Yoshi's Island is much, much better than this game. Now, some people in the community just absolutely adore this game. They love the art style. They love everything about it. And if that's you love this game too, then hey, more power to you. Me personally, I find it a little bit too easy, and I'd rather go and play Yoshi's Island for the original Super NES. So, that's about all for this, for this review, everybody. I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe in these tumultuous times. I know it's 
come summertime once more. So hopefully we're finding ways to stay cool and enjoy the beautiful weather that we've been having. You know, lately here in Ohio, it's been a 90 degrees and warm, but winter comes fast and is right around the corner. So there's a Super NES or Nintendo 64 game that you'd like to see me review next. Please leave me a comment down below. If not, next game I should be reviewing is the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. I know I said I was going to do that one, but I figured this game's so short to go through and review. We'll get this one out of the way first. Again, I hope everyone's doing well and staying safe. And I'll see you all in the next review. And as always, if you enjoyed the video, please like, share, and subscribe. And stay tuned for more reviews and more clips coming soon. Thanks, everybody. Take care. See you in the next video.